the keynote, 50 things you can do with this app for the classroom. Today is day two. We're going to take a look at drawings. If you've never drawn on the iPad, here's a quick review of the tools at your disposal. Access the tool by using the plus sign and clicking on drawing. Then you'll see a few tools at the bottom of your screen. There are six. They are pen, pencil, crayon, fill tool, eraser, and selection tool. Of course, you can choose colors or even mix your own. You can adjust the width or the thickness of the brush or pencil. And you can even use a selection tool to move things around, resize or duplicate them. So I start usually by having students practice drawings. And this is really easy. You ask them to draw shapes. And these you can then turn into fish, for example. Here's a really cool idea by Nadine. The examples I'll show you are emojis, which we did in English class, proverbs, which we did in German class, and abstract portraits, which we did in design or art class. With emojis, it's really cool to see how students can be really creative. You can discuss what emojis mean, and you can even ask them to design their own emojis for situations that they know that are really um, usual for them. Here, we can see how the students are really creative in designing their own emojis. For proverbs, I found very well-known proverbs. I cut them in two. Students chose a proverb and they visualized these. And if they wanted to, they could animate the proverb by using the animation line draw. For the animated selfie portraits, it's really easy. Take a selfie portrait of yourself. Then you trace it. You color in the different areas, making sure they're closed. Duplicate the slide using different colors and export as an animated shift for full effect. There you go. Day two, digital drawings. All the videos are here and all the keynote files are here. See you tomorrow.